News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, here's a look at some of the temperatures uh, for this evening. In case some of you may need to venture out, you're going to be noticing that the temperature will be down into the 20s by about 8 o'clock tonight, at least, if not even sooner than that. Uh, 30 degrees at 7 o'clock, and then you can see that temperatures will drop into the 20s. Uh, because of the overcast, and we're depending on that overcast to keep that temperature above 20 degrees tonight. I think when you get up in the morning, it's going to be partly cloudy, but quickly turn to clear skies. You're going to notice that there's a little cooler air in the valley, and I think especially you'll feel like uh, Saturday morning looking at the next evening. That's going to be pretty cold in the morning, and it will be. I'll show you in the seven day forecast. And when you talk about the Bronco forecast, they're going to be in Laramie, as you know. I'll give you a little bit of the travel in that case too. It's going to be so cold there that even if you're watching the game at home, you're still going to feel cold. That's how cold it's going to be in Laramie. Uh, here it is 20 degrees Saturday at five o'clock and here's the wind chill. Boy, those poor guys uh, down to nine degrees. That'll be the wind chill. And then in the second half, like at the beginning of the fourth quarter, wind chill could be as low as zero to four below. Okay, it's going to be dry, but let me show you here. I took the future cast and put it from Boise over here to Laramie. And you can see for tonight at uh, six o'clock, they are getting a little snow. That's on uh, the, the freeway right along through here out to Laramie uh, in the western part of Wyoming. Uh, this is a part of a whole band that I don't think you're going to run into in Idaho or down into Utah. But as we get closer, you'll see here it is uh, just about ready to move into northern Utah and portions of the southwest portion of uh, Wyoming. Now here's Laramie over here. There's some snow to the south, but it looks like that clears out. So this is going to be 630 tomorrow morning. So depending on your travel time, just uh, be careful because tomorrow if you're traveling through there, uh, just watch for any icy spots. It's pretty cold over in that country. You know, Laramie is 7,000 feet or over 7,000 feet in elevation. And you notice the clouds just keep on coming in from the north, so it's going to be very cold through that location, as you know. We're back over here to southern Idaho. You can see Boise and Twin Falls. There's some of that cloud cover once again. It looks like it's going to be, I'll check this at 10 o'clock, clearing out a little bit sooner. If that's the case, it could get a little colder for tonight. This storm system is developing out through here. First one is weakening. Second one is trying to push in from the west. That's that's the first part of next week that could get our temperatures up to about normal by about next Wednesday or so. So here are some of the clouds predicted for tomorrow morning, and then you can see how just to the north how it's going to be pretty cold. As you look at the temperatures for tomorrow around the Magic Valley and the Central Mountains, many of these temperatures would be considered uh, pretty nice to get up to 30 degrees. As you look at McCall, we will be up to 30 degrees there. Down here in valley locations, most temperatures are in the mid 30s and then the low tomorrow morning at 20. So as you look at the seven day forecast, cold as you see Saturday and Sunday morning highs in the 30s and then as we get over here to Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday there could be a little snow, maybe a little rain mixed in. These temperatures are coming up and by next Friday it could be like a 48 or 49. That's not warm, but that's a big difference. We're going to be back with more news in just a moment.